Welcome back to it, you guys. You are still tuned in to Hectic 99. Now, for those of you who are maybe interested in the world of apps or even becoming the next Mark Zuckerberg, you definitely want to listen closely. I'm chilling with these three lovely ladies, Tracy, Shanae, as well as Malaika. You guys are paving um, your own way in the world of coding, right? So welcome to Hectic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sweet. So let's get into it. What actually got you guys into coding? Well, Shone and I learned about Code for Cape Town, which is the all girls coding program that we're part of okay. through our scholarship, Students for a Better Future. So we got a hold of that information and we went to the camp and that's how we started coding. Okay, and you, okay, Malika? For me, it was basically I saw posters around my school, which was put up by one of our teachers that heard from Code for City. And then I always wanted to learn how to code because I wanted to become a graphic designer. I actually wanted to learn how to do that, so it was good. Okay, so for those of us who know nothing about what coding is all about, what are the different platforms that are available or the different languages that you guys use? Well, we've used um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, as well as jQuery. Okay, so how do they actually work and um, how long did it take you guys to learn to actually work these um, programs or platforms? So coding the different languages, for example, mm -hmm. HTML is basically a language that a computer understands. So coding is just communicating to, to the computer what you want it to do. So we learned HTML, CSS, okay. and a little bit of JavaScript in the first week of the two-week camp that we went on. And we mastered that in a few days, and we just started practicing that. And then in a health, co health code storm um, competition, we did JavaScript and jQuery. So that's also a week few days. Uh, yeah. She's just like three days, a few days, <laughs> <laughs> like it's the most simple thing ever. Now I understand that you guys are like grade 11 matric, right? Mm -hmm. So for those of our viewers who are interested into actually getting into coding and creating their own applications and so on, um, what should what should they study both um, high school and varsity? Uh, so to get into coding you need to have pure math and you can do IT, it's actually basically like an advantage for you if you're doing IT. Okay, cool. We, if your school offers it, because my school doesn't. Mm -hmm. But if you do studying, that's an advantage for you. And then you could, if you take coding, and you could study like at university, you could do data journalism, graphic designing, computer science, and you can mix that up with something else. Whoa, it sounds like a world of opportunities. Okay, now you guys actually created your own app, since yeah. apps are all the range, since they help us out so much. So let's actually go on over to Techno, you guys can talk us through it a little bit. So what is your app called? And um, talk us through what's happening right now. So our app is basically a pregnancy app that we did during health health .co storm. Okay. So we um, built an app that helps pregnant women with a few different challenges that they have, like calculating their expected date of delivery. So that's what one of the first functions of our app is. Oh, wow. So well, with the question is, Use, a, use this calculator to estimate your baby's due date. So it asks, it asks when was the first day of your last period? And okay. then the woman would use the calendar to select the, date, the first date. Say, for example, is the 1st of December. Okay. Calculate. Um, <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Okay, so just let us know um, what actually okay. happens. So basically it would calculate the expected date of delivery and then it would tell her which trimester she's in. So for example, she's in the first trimester and then give her information about what to expect and what possibly asking her a few questions of what she might be experiencing and that, just telling her that that's normal. And okay. then the next step would be to go to um, a depression calculator, but we didn't label it as that because we didn't want to like scare her at all and just, um, yeah, so we just wanted to um, see if there are any warning signs that you may be experiencing like post-pregnancy depression or anything like that. So, oh, okay, yeah. cool. So I'm refreshing it right now to see if it will work. But, um, but let's actually talk about the if statement. What is it all about and how does it help you when you're coding? Okay, so we can look at the if statement in our JavaScript, which is here. Okay. So basically an if statement is, it, it just says that if, it's like in math, so if this condition, so trimester, is smaller than 84, which is 84 days, then it will show what is what is the function. So show the info on trimester one, and if and else, if it doesn't apply to that statement, it will show the next, and also else for the last one, it will apply to the last one. So just whichever the whichever the calculator like says. Oh, right. okay. Just yeah. to simplify that, basically what an if statement is, is you're giving instructions to the computer, so like you have different options, so if this is the answer, you want it to display this oh, and if okay. that is the answer you wanted to display something else but it's all I and mean, the language you use it's calming it's like speaks to them like they're actually a person and not like just a computer 
Oh wow, thank you so much ladies for joining us. I'm sure that our viewers have taken a lot from everything that you've shared with us. Hectic.